Oh my god. Here we go again. Yo, what is on guys? My name is Fast 14. Welcome back to AFTV Young Guns. Today I am here to give my post-match thoughts on Arsenal losing 3-1 away from home to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Am I surprised? Am I? What? I am not surprised one bit. But what I am going to do is ask you to go down there and like it. If you do enjoy, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel, Bass 14. Links will be in the description. Comment below your thoughts on the game. Comment below what you think Arsenal can make the top four. And yeah, let's just get straight into this. I want to start for the lineups and wow, last Sunday we were all complaining. Why is El Nani starting and why is Mustafi starting? Why this and why that? No complaints today. We started the strongest possible team we had there and we still lost convincingly. I mean, the likes of Terrera and Xhaka were meant to make a difference, but it was like we had two El Nenis in midfield today. So, yeah, wow, make the work that one out. A lot of fans also, I've heard a lot of fans recently criticize Aubameyang. Even though he scored 19 goals, let's criticize Aubameyang because scoring goals is the easy part. I mean, he doesn't dribble, does he? He doesn't pass the ball, really, does he? We missed him today. We had two wingers today, and it took us the 80th minute to score our goal. Wow. Defending, yes, it was shambolic. Yes, it looked like we were the team that were promoted for the championship. And yes, it was awful. But hey, I am not surprised one bit. We had Koscielny and Sakharov and Monreal, our best back three. But it's like we had three Mustafis here today. What is going on? I mean, the funniest thing about today is there's no Mustafi and there's no Elneny. Which means there's going to be one scapegoat. And one guy that's going to be named the most. He's going to be the guy that everyone talks about. It's all his fault. Meza Ozil. Definitely Meza Ozil's fault. It's not like we have 10 other players on the pitch. That are play football. It's not like we have that. They just are. They're all just. They're just there to stand there. It's not like we have 20 plus players in the club that are getting paid by the club. But no, it's just Mesut Ozil apparently. Like the rest of them, I guess they all pay their money to charity. For sure, everyone's going to talk about Mesut Ozil. His wages are definitely, definitely going to get brought up. His work rate will be questioned. His desire for the club will be questioned. But no one else will talk about the rest. It will just be Mesut Ozil. Wow, he earns more money than us. What a shock. I've always seen this debate about Omezu Ozil. He's on £350,000 a week, this, this and that. Since when did us fans, simple fans, become bloody accountants? Who really cares about how much he earns? It's not like we are the ones that are paying him. Yes, we pay tickets and that, but a lot of the money the club makes now is TV money. So, as if, so it's as if the fans that are sat at home, actually, that are fake fans, are the ones that are paying Mesut Ozil's wages. So if anything, they're the ones that are to, to be angry. I mean, it's the funniest thing. It's, it's only ever Ozil. I had never heard about Lacazette or Aubameyang. What's he on? What, what is uh, Mkhitaryan on? He's on £220,000 a week. But that just gets rolled under the window because no one cares because his name's not Mesut Ozil. Am I lying or not? And this video isn't let's defend Mesut Ozil and let's just all praise Mesut Ozil because even he wasn't the best today, but he wasn't the worst. But what will happen is he's the one who's going to get criticised. And so he should do. He's the best. He's the highest paid earner at the club. Do you really blame Mesut Ozil today for us conceding two goals the goalkeeper should clearly do better with? Do you really blame Mesut Ozil when the movement in front of him is at the speed of Per Mertesaka? In terms of Unai Emery and in terms of our top four hopes, is it over? Is it all over now? Nah, it's not. Around a week ago, we've beaten Napoli away. Oh my God, we're on top of the world. Unai Emery is doing a fantastic job at Arsenal. What progress he's made with these players. Even though the Earls is running now. And a week later, just two losses. And the world is over. The world's going to end. Everything's over. Uh, get Emery out. He's making no progression. Listen, listen. Just, just calm down. I guess you're only as good as your last game. Because that's what Arsenal fans are right now. We win and we enjoy it. And the moment we lose, it's the end of the world. And that's why people will laugh at us. It's because we always, always, always overreact. So... To my advice to anyone watching this video that isn't a rival fan and isn't laughing at me and you're an Arsenal fan, just calm down, just move on with life, go to sleep, dry your tears, and just move on with life. We've got a massive, massive, massive game on Sunday against Leicester City, and hopefully Arsenal win 6-0 against Leicester on Sunday. It's not going to happen, but I've said it now, so it might just. And uh, yeah, moral of the video is, we move on. Leicester on Sunday, massive game. Top four is not over. Uh, let's all laugh at Jesse Lingard. Ha 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 ha. Well, that said, guys, I'm going to end the video there and there. Um, yeah, feel free to like the video if you do enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel, Bass14, if you would like to subscribe. Oh, I've said it already. Uh, comment below your thoughts on the game. Can we still make top four? I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, that is it. Arsenal lost. Arsenal lost. Not Mesut Ozil. Arsenal lost. Peace. Check out the